I mentioned it early in one of my vlogs and it's been helping me out so far in 2022. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Good notes. Welcome to what I believe is the sixth week of 2022. My name is Kryptonite and made it back to another blog. Vlog, welcome. It's a video, blog, vlog. So the interesting thing about these vlogs is they're living. I do them every week. So depending on what happens during that week, usually determines the outcome of the subject matter of these vlogs. But this week, however, I decided to take over. I'm not gonna go over what has been going on in my life. As far as work goes, don't worry, we'll get there. But today I wanna talk about GoodNotes, finally. Now GoodNotes is, I guess this is a note-taking app, but the ingenious part of GoodNotes is you can import templates into it. Now my good friend, Miss Neaters put me onto this, that you can actually go to Etsy and download as many templates as you want and you can have infinite journals as you want. Now, typically I was never, never a journal person and I always saw it as just busy work. I didn't see the application, I didn't see the benefit of it. But again, this year I'm trying new things just to change up the flow, try to get my mental state in a point of productivity and creation and just producing left and right because i have a full-time job because i'm a full-time parent because i'm a full-time husband i needed something to uh schedule all of my activities everything that i want to accomplish for that month and and i think i finally found that thing in good notes so without further ado i'm gonna switch scenes let you see what i've done with my good notes show you where you can actually download some templates and then go from there right so this right here is good notes this is a template that i purchased you know what before we get into that i'm gonna show you what it looks like on the etsy site actually boom it should be there it, it's there thank god this is etsy if you've never seen it uh, it's a place where you can buy um homemade goods digital products all kinds of awesome stuff and if you type in good notes planner you can see there are a bunch of options i don't know which one i bought actually the amount of options is pretty overwhelming so have fun picking one out just pick one and go so again this is what my planner looks like it was blank it actually looked like this totally blank the stuff in the right hand corner there i put there myself and the beauty about this planner is it's what you want it to be it could be anything you want Let's go to the home screen. So as you can see right here, there is a bunch of stuff located in this planner. I don't know, again, I don't know which one this is. I named this one the 2022 success guide because this is gonna be the base of operations for all cool things that I do going forward. Meal planner, birthdays, trip planner. You can actually click into these things and actually bring stuff up. I don't plan on using most of this stuff. You can click on a heart. It's some health wellness stuff. We got fitness. Got money trackers, all kinds of things. Things that I might jump into later, but I haven't gotten there yet. I'm just now learning how to use planners. Why would I set myself up for failure trying to get into all these things? I only need a few things and I'll show you how I use mine. So for the month of January, I had super simple goals and you can check your goals. You can write them a number of places. I chose to throw mine into the dashboard. So if you click dashboards up at the top, you can have a place for your long-term goals, your short-term goals, many upcoming appointments. Again, I don't use all of this stuff, but I'll show you what I actually do use. So if you go to January and look at it at a glance, these are things that I want to accomplish. Again, I did this January 1st. I know what I was doing. Those four things I wanted to accomplish. And guess what? I did it. I did it. I also put down January 4th. That's when I broke my affiliate with Twitch because I want to remember the day that I changed course of everything I do as far as creating content goes. So if we jump back into January, you can see I labeled everything. If I did a vlog, it's labeled with the camera icon. If I did a short, that's a TikTok, Insta Reel, Hoover or Hover. There's so many different places where you can upload the same content in five or six locations do it but you can see that is represented as a cassette tape yoga is a hands you can see i labeled everything under the to do um because it's my calendar and then on the calendar each day that i did those things i put it down now for me this reinforced a couple of things i did all this while working full time pat on the back to myself i, I felt accomplished it was awesome to see all this stuff that i did also 
I do a lot of stuff. I didn't realize how much stuff I did until it was all calculated and viewed. Now, again, I had those like little short term goals I wanted to do. Let's let's go check. Let's go back to the dashboard. Boom. Let's go to January. So I wanted to do four shorts. I ended up doing, I think, 16. I wanted to do at least two YouTube videos. I think I ended up doing six or four. I think I ended up doing four. I did my four vlogs a week and that this is fun. So I'm going to continue to do it. And I made the push to Kofi. I have subs on Kofi. Um, exclamation mark Kofi in the chat. If I was streaming, I'm not streaming right now, but you can go to that link below and it'll see all my information. More on that to come next week because I've decided to expand my tiers on my Kofi page in preparation of some things to come down the line, but we'll get to that when time comes. So yeah, now the only thing left to do is to jump into February and blank slate. What are we gonna create this month? I cannot wait to see. I do plan on doing this. I'm gonna take a look at my goals from January, move them over to February, which you can see I did right here. I'm gonna look at these numbers and look at my analytics, see where I'm spending most of my time and see where I can use my time more productively. I also gave myself a new set of goals this month. First of which is going to be every other day. I want to do yoga at least for 20 minutes. I started at 10. I've slowly made my way up to 20. Now I want to be more consistent with it. The second thing that I want to do is to launch my tier two and tier three of my Kofi pages, because eventually those are going to be the things that help me on my way to becoming a full-time content creator. The third thing that I am going to address in February is the new direction for uh, the kryptonite collection. Um, if you didn't know, I sell handmade bracelets, beaded bracelets, and it was just something as a passion um, I did with the girls at first, and then I started doing it myself, and it's just, it's just fun. I enjoyed it, so I continued it, I started a business, and now I sell bracelets. Yep. So I have a new direction for that. I think it's going to get the bracelets into more hands and it's going to actually, you know what? I'm not going to get into it. Maybe next week or the week after, but it's coming. And the fourth thing that I want to start doing is I'm just going to say daily affirmations. I'm not going to get into what exactly I'm going to be doing with that, but I'm going to start doing daily affirmations. That for me, I'm going to start. Oh my God. I'm just like giving away all the stuff and boom, there you have it. That is it. Blog complete. That's how I use good notes to stay on top of all the things that I want to do for the month as well as get motivated for the next month. And it's, it's wild to think that I am somebody who uses a damn journal. Like I made fun of my wife for so many years for using a journal. Now she's hardcore with her journaling. She has like a paper set up with stickers and, and sticky notes and colored. It's too much. Just go digital It's way easier. As always, protect your mental, keep creating content and stay tuned because again, exciting things are ahead. I cannot wait. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.